All right, Kristen, thank you so much for that great work. Uh, you know, I know that Business Council for the Arts believes, as do I, that a great society finds ways to utilize the talents of all its citizens. And when it comes to citizenry, we now turn our attention to Irving. You know, what a lot of people don't know about this thriving city is that it is one of the most diverse in the nation. And that's why Irving's mayor, Rick Stouffer, fostered the development of the Irving Archives and Museum, a place that celebrates Irving's pioneer past and its multicultural present. When the Irving Archives and Museum held its grand opening in February of this year, it partnered with the Think India Foundation for its first exhibition, India a la Art, a cultural collective. Now the goal was simple, showcase the colorful tapestry of the art of India from textiles and painting to dance, poetry, drama, and yoga. But what set this exhibition apart was an interactive component that really allowed guests to experience Indian culture firsthand. Expert practitioners led hands-on workshops that turned visitors into participants and creators. Whether you had a deep personal connection to Indian art or were experiencing it for the very first time, the show offered a chance to explore and appreciate a vast cultural heritage. This is significant not only for the Indian community in Irving, but for our entire art landscape. When we learn about the experiences and perspectives of those in our own community, we all benefit. Art and culture can illuminate these qualities like nothing else. Accepting this honor on behalf of the Irving Archives and Museum is Irving Mayor Rick Stouffer. On behalf of the Irving City Council and myself, I want to thank the committee for the Obelisk Award. It is truly an honor for us to receive this for this exhibit that we have here today. Think India was very instrumental in putting together India a la carte. Thank you so much for investing in our community and believing in our museum.